Today I want to demonstrate one of my favorite soups. I've been making this about 10 years. I can't say I have a formal name for it, but let me explain. It goes back two homes ago. I used to go to this organic cafe down the street and I tried this soup called African peanut soup. And I thought it was really good and tasty, but I wanted to make my own version at home and make it more nutritious. I have made many different variations of this recipe and I usually don't measure anything and it always turns out great. So I think almost anyone could make this soup and make it work for them. So I start with a bunch of veggies. I start with a bunch of chopped onions, a bunch of chopped carrots. I use equal amounts of onions and carrots. I tried to measure this out. This is probably about five cups of each of these. And then I use a little bit less of celery. So there's maybe almost four cups here. And I'm gonna saute all this up. To make it go fast, I'll saute the onions in my Instant Pot and I cook these carrots and celery separately in the microwave. This way, when you throw it all together, it goes very fast. So I'll be back. Okay, so I have sauteed all my veggies and that's all done. And I just need to review a couple more points of things you're going to put into this soup. And it's very easy because the rest of this is basically done in the blender and you might need to do it in a couple different batches depending on how big of a batch of soup you're making. And then you're just gonna put it all back in your pot to get it warm and serve. So I've got all my veggies, right? So I've already put some of them in the blender. A Couple other things that are gonna make this soup what it is and so yummy. So again, I started with an African peanut soup. I've made this with peanut butter, which is wonderful. I've used almond butter. Today I'm using cashew butter, only due to my food sensitivities. Today I poured about two thirds cup. You'll wanna use at least a half cup. And then you end up adjusting ingredients at the end according to taste. So I'm gonna put this in the blender. And then I like beans. I've used all different beans, butter beans, navy beans, pitto beans. What I did is I used about three-fourths of a can of mixed pinto and navy beans. And I've already pre-cooked them in the microwave to kind of get that raw canned flavor out. Uh, I did put some of the goo from the pan in it. Doesn't really matter if you eliminate it or add some. And then you need something to make this creamy. I've used anything and everything. You can use heavy cream, sour cream. For the liquid in this recipe, you could use uh, refrigerated soy milk or coconut milk. Today, I'm gonna use about two thirds to three fourths can of organic coconut milk. So again, you can make this dairy free and then you adjust it according to the creaminess in the end. So I'm gonna pour most of this can in my blender and then you need some sort of liquid. Now, if you wanted to just use a lot of soy milk, uh, coconut milk, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some broth and some water into here. And I'm probably gonna add more broth and water in the end, but I'm not gonna put a ton in now or you're just gonna have a blender full. Then you're of course gonna add some salt. I love some quality sea, uh, Celtic salt. And then flavorings. So this is where you could get very creative. I'm gonna use a whole bunch of fresh thyme from my garden. I know people would love to put like jalapenos or hot sauce. You could use basil. You can do about anything for flavoring, but I love fresh herbs. And then maybe squeeze some fresh lemon in there too. So I'm gonna put this all in the blender in a couple batches, make it all creamy, and I'll be back to show you. So I finished making my soup in two different batches in my blender, and now I've poured it all back into my pot to reheat and serve. And then you just flavor this um, according to your taste. Add more seasoning, salt, uh, you know, a little more milk if you want. Um, but I'm just gonna heat this up and bring it to serve to my guests. I found it tends to go over quite well, depending on how much people eat or if you have seconds. I find it serves anywhere from like four to eight people. Uh, again, you can make as big of a batch as you want. And so what would I call this? It's not really, I can't call it 
African peanut soup anymore. There's no peanuts in it. So maybe cashew vegetable or nut vegetable soup. It's not very, just not a very sexy name for it. You can also sneak a lot of veggies into kids if they don't see you make it. So give it a try. If you think of a great name, let me know. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.